started this entire situation off, okay? I'm standing next to this guy. He turns towards me and he sneezes like this. He goes, <laughs> I looked at him and I went, uh, God bless you. Yeah, I said it like that. I said it like that. God bless you. Which, you know, is God bless you, but it kind of sounded like, cover your f***ing mouth. <laughs> Guy looks at me, and very condescending, he goes, uh, yeah, I'm an atheist. I'm trying to be polite. I don't know you're an atheist, right? And even if I did, what am I supposed to say when an atheist sneezes? Uh, when you die, nothing happens. He goes, well, what about you? What did, what did you grow up? I said, well... Uh, I was raised Catholic. What do you believe happens to you after you die? And I said, uh, okay, well, um, hopefully I live a good life and my soul goes to heaven. He's giggling. He's like, you believe this? This is what... <laughs> uh, uh. So he's laughing at my beliefs and finally I just snap back. What about you? Okay, what about you? All right? What happens to you after you die? Now he gets very serious, like he's going to school me, okay? I know what's going to happen to me after I die. After I pass on, my body will become one with this earth. And with that, I will return as a huge, beautiful tree. I hope when he dies, he does become a tree. And wouldn't it be fantastic if while he was out there just enjoying his treeness, through the woods, a huge, sweaty guy with an axe comes along. Sees him. <laughs> chops him down, smash. Put a chain around him, drag him through the mud and the muck, throw him into a sawmill, grind him up. Then you pound him down into paper. Once he's paper, you print the Bible on him.